This black, white, red, and extraordinarily loud number 93 Civic is the product of Honda Performance Development and Compass 360 Racing. It's built off the 2012 Honda Civic Si streetcar and is set to compete in the SCCA World Challenge Series. After its initial round of testing, the C360R team has brought the race car to Willow Springs Raceway for us to give it a go. The gap between streetcar and race car never ceases to surprise. The Civic's interior has little more than a dash, roll cage, racing seat, safety netting, and a five-point harness. A stock shifter on the naked white floor is connected to a stock six-speed transmission. Other stock components, dictated by touring car class rules, include body panels, OEM-style suspension components, and engines. The racing Civic's engine uses the same 2.4-liter mill as the one in the new SI, but for World Challenge duties, it's been balanced and blueprinted, giving it 230 horsepower an extra 29 horsepower over the stock SI. With some help, I tightly strap myself into the racing seat and fire up the engine. Exiting onto the front straight from the pits, it feels like straddling a small Cessna engine. The shift lights climb quickly as the 2.4 liter kisses the rev limiter. The acceleration is modest for a race car, but the real treat lies in the way the Civic handles. It is staggering. There is so much grip in these tires. They're total race slicks, and I feel like I can just push them way harder than the stock car. Credit can be given to Pirelli racing slicks that wrap the 17-inch wheels, which are an inch wider than the standard car. The negative camber on the rear tires gives the Civic a lively character. It wiggles left and right under braking as the weight transfers forward. Very loose. Whoa. A lot of sliding action. It's not unnerving though, it builds trust. Race cars are not like street cars. Race cars scare you, but they make you do things that you would never think you could do. The C360R crew will champion this Civic in the 2012 World Challenge Series, which should start sometime in March. Prospective race teams looking for a similar setup need only contact Honda Performance Development. Forking over $3,500 gets you a bare chassis pulled straight off the assembly line, and available parts kits include bushings, suspension components, a limited slip differential, and brake assemblies. But nowhere can you buy sound deadening. Oh, 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 racing cars!